What's up, subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. This is Paul Bonin Vargas of Zebian Manila, the channel where you can earn and learn from leather crafting. Would you like to see some magic? All right, so here's a one prong puncher. This is that what we will be using today. So it's here on my right hand, and my left hand is empty. So I'm going to put it here and Ta-da! Would you like to see it appear? Ta-da! All right, so what's up, subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. Again, this is Paul Bonin Vargas, and you're watching Zebian Manila, the channel where you can earn and learn from leather crafting. So for today's um, quick video, what we will be doing is a simple card holder, but we will be using just a one prong puncher to do the holes or to make the holes for the card holder. And I believe this is one of the most versatile tools in leather crafting because one, you can use it for um, doing the holes for the crafts that you're making and of course you can also use this when you're going to do punch holes for your snaps and ev even for your belts so let's go and start this video but first these are the things that we need of course this is a 9 by 11 leather actually we need two of them because we will be putting it together our one prong puncher or one hole puncher like this our owl, a one peso coin for putting on corners, rulers of course, our ruler like this one, and then our mallet, our scissors, our needles, cutter, and our double-sided tape. So I'm using uh, my trusted double-sided tape because for me it's better to use it. it it's a bit cleaner, but. If you prefer to do the old-fashioned way, the rubber cement or rugby, you can use that also. Just be careful with the smell. And of course, our thread. Um, I'm actually thinking of either using the red leather or, I mean, using the red thread or the brown thread. So, I don't know. Maybe we can just check it later if, what can I decide on? Alright, so before we go to our video, Let's do our Zebion Manila shoutouts. Alright, we're finally done with our Zebian Manila shoutouts and let's go to our video. First, get your two pieces of 9 by 11 centimeters leather and you have to put them together using your glue. For me, I'll be using a double-sided tape. But of course, you can also still use your rubber cement or any glue that you are preferred in the using. So, just make sure that you put the sides together, the swans, and then just leave the other side open. So, start. When you're done, 
sticking them together get your owl and from the top from where the opening is measure three centimeters one two three and from here on the other side measure another three centimeters one so one two three here and sorry one one two three all right then make up a line from your marks all right and cut it out this will serve as the opening for your cards okay so it will look like this and get your coin and corner out the the top one this one will be a little subtle since it, it's very inclined So it will look like this and it's open and it's up to you if you will put an opening here I mean a curve over here on your sides all right when you're done you have to get your ruler and measure at least 0.5 centimeters from each side So from here we will be measuring our stitching holes and we will be using 5 centimeters each. I mean 0.5 centimeters. there so we already have holes for this ones for the sides and then on the corner you can either choose to put a hole here on the corners or you can choose to put a hole and just measure it a bit from this side so that it will a bit corner out when you put a stitch same as with this one All right, so there it is. Now it's time for us to use our one prong or one hole puncher and this one. So it's time for us to do our hole punching. All right, this time it's again time to do our holes. And we will be using this one, our one hole puncher and again as i have said earlier this for me is one of the most versatile tool that you can use in leather crafting since you can use it for punching holes and for punching holes for your um, wallets or crafts that you will be making and also for punching hole for your snaps so let's go and do the hole punching
so we're finally done punching our holes for our basic leather craft wallet or leather card holder so again we just used our one prong puncher if you're going to buy your one prong puncher or one hole puncher um, it have different sizes so make sure that you can decide on which kind which size of the holes that you'll be uh, buying this one is a bit wide but it's okay for me because it's it will have a distinct look so again i'll be stitching this once and i'll be showing you the finished product later Alright, so we're finally done with our simple card holder and we just used our one hole puncher. So here it is and here's our tool that we used. So finally, here's our basic card holder where we used our one prong puncher for making the holes. So here it is and I put the, this slit or this opening over here so that it will be, it will have an easier access for our cards. This card holder can hold up to 10 cards about your ATM sizes or actually it can also hold your field health card like this. So here, before we end our video, thanks again to our friends at Badu Clothing, which they got me as an ambassador. If you would like to get an, a shirt from them, don't forget to um, use our code BDK Zebian Manila so that you will have a 10% off whenever you order from them. Again, this is Paul Bonin Vargas of Zebian Manila. Thank you for watching. Dios Mabalos!